What's up everyone? Now, this video is going to be a very quick one, but with so many people keeping these little awesome little cuties now, I thought I'd do a quick care video on the Regal Jumping Spider. So this here is Minnie, if you haven't already met her. I have featured her on my channel before. She is my Florida Regal Jumping Spider, or Fidipus Regius Florida. But the care in this video that I'm going to run through will apply to all localities of the Regal Jumping Spider. So first up, you can see that they are a really cute little spider. Uh, they can be handled quite well. They do tend to be a bit shy though, and of course very jumpy, so care must be taken when handling, uh, not to squish them or not to lose them as well, because they are often very jumpy. Uh, this girl you can see is just sat on my finger here. She's quite chill at the moment. Um, temperature for this species, they come from quite warm parts of the Americas. Um, and they tend to do best between 25 and 30 degrees, so they do like it quite warm. However, they can definitely do well down to around 22 degrees, and they can tolerate 20 and up. But I would definitely stick to about 24 to 28 would be the range that I would stick to. Um, I keep my girl here this time of year uh, around 28, sometimes 29, because it is quite warm. For humidity as well, Florida Regal Jumping Spiders and all of the Regal Jumping Spiders do like it. Quite humid, but not too humid, so not uh, really, really moist in there, not tropical. So anything between 60 to 70% seems to work well for this species. And when you spray them as well, when you mist down the enclosure, make sure you give their enclosure a mist. Uh, the size of the enclosure, because they will drink um, from the droplets. I have seen this girl on multiple occasions go to find a droplet and she'll sit there drinking it and it's really really cute actually. As for feeding, you can feed fruit flies right up until adulthood. They do stay small, they very rarely get above an inch in length, um, the regal jumping spider. So you can feed fruit flies up until adulthood. I would stick to the larger fruit flies though, the Drosophila hydei I think they are. And I would give um, about 10 fruit flies a week, so I tend to give 5 fruit flies twice twice a week for uh, for a spider of this size, uh, but obviously you can change that depending on how big your spider is, giving more or less, uh, more if your spider is bigger or less or if your spider is smaller, and if your spider is really small, you know, I4, I3 or I4, um, you can give the smaller fruit flies as well. As for housing, they do like to roam around, so they will need enough room, but obviously being a very small spider, you know, they're not going to do well housed in a really huge enclosure. So I've got her here in a uh, 15 by 15 by 20 centimetre enclosure, which will suit her right up until adulthood. It's got a little uh, front opening hatch there and a mesh lid, and that works really well for her. Decoration is quite simple, she's got a leaf in there. However, what they will tend to do is spin their own little sort of hammock web up the top of their enclosure. And that's really cute, and that's where they will sleep. They are diurnal, so they are active by day. Uh, mostly by night they will be sleeping up in their own hammock, and they will also use that to molt. Signs of molting for a regal drum spider is that that uh, webbing will go opaque, so you will they it will be a really thick coating of web. You will not be able to see the spider. And also, of course, they'll stop eating, much like a lot of other invertebrates. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the care of this species of spider. Really cute. If you haven't already got one of these, I would definitely recommend you getting one of these. They're fairly inexpensive, wide, widely available, super, super cute pets. Even if you're scared of spiders, I've heard of many people being terrified of spiders, but but actually thinking that these these guys are actually really, really sweet, which they are. I mean, look at that little face. Awesome. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and that will be a goodbye from me and a goodbye from Minnie here until the next video. And she's waving goodbye there.